Visit stogiegeeks.com forward slash debonair for a list of retailers who carry debonair cigars. Buy some today and get a little more debonair. Stogie Geek Show. That's right. This is the debonair ideal segment for this evening. We're going to talk about cigars and weddings because Will just got, no, Will's daughter just got married. My wedding was was ten years ago. Next year, I actually remember that. <laughs> wow! I wow. remember that. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. Very well, good. Sort of. Very, very proud good. of you. Oh, yes, yeah. thank you very much. Once you get in the thirties, you'll forget. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I forget you're married, let alone the date. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You guys forget that you're married. Really? Is that what I just? Did I oh, just yeah. hear? Oh, you, 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 when you get to about like sixteen to seventeen years, Paul, you'll see. Oh, absolutely. All yeah. right. You know, I'll go away on a business trip. I'll forget to call my wife right yeah, now. Yeah, oh, no shit. I'm in Vegas yeah, doing I, my I, thing. I, you, my wife says, hello. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> I haven't heard from you for two days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, Paul, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry. Anyway, I don't know. Back. Will, this is your segment, so. Yeah, I, I, okay. So, look, I'm not a wedding planner, okay? And Could have fooled me. <laughs> oh, and in fact, um, you know, Lopez. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sound old-fashioned <laughs> here, but basically... I stayed out of the way completely. I didn't, in fact, that was by choice, but it, it would have been by edict anyway, right? Why is so, your job is to write the check. Yeah, That's write it. the check, write the check. But um, no one was going to bring cigars to this wedding if I didn't get involved. And this wedding would not have been a Cooper family wedding without cigars. Um, and I got, a little, I got a little resistance on it, I admit. Um, and I'll talk a little about the place in a minute, but the most important thing is you gotta you, is picking cigars for the wedding. And and this may sound so for folks who who don't know, there is a there is a wedding cigar I, I had. I got this from the folks at Debonair. Um, it's a Debonair Maduro, is what this is, in a Toro size. It's a great cigar. I love the Debonair Maduro. Um, however. I got these cigars. They smoke fantastic, but I realized something right off the bat. This is not a cigar for everybody. And in fact, it wouldn't have mattered what the cigar is. Mm-hmm. You have to have variety. So did you give this cigar to your new in-laws? I basically, I basically gave them to whoever <laughs> wanted them, okay? Mistake but I number did, one. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I, had, I had some cigars, but... You had the, some Trader, Trader Jacks or whatever no, no, for the... No, no, no. <laughs> Throw them <laughs> off the boat. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> this is a new one. Give them to the in-laws. Yeah, give them to the in-laws. Give them to the in-laws. <laughs> no, no, I, I got to say, these in-laws are not the outlaws. They are just, you know, uh, they're great people, right? Give it time. Um, give it and, time. You know, and here's the thing. When I, we went to the, we went, the wedding was on a Friday. We got to the hotel earlier in the week, and basically I sat out on the patio at the hotel smoking cigars all day, and no one gave me dirty looks in that family. In fact, they came out and sat with me a few times. So Good. Good, um, and, Good time. Good yeah. for you. But, but the thing is, I'm going to say, is you want to have some variety. So you want to have some medium. This is a medium to full, fuller cigar. I realized I needed some milder ones and some medium, so I brought, I brought some of those as well to give people a choice. Now, there are about... Let's. I think the number of it says about hundred people at this wedding. The Italian in me said you gotta have two hundred cigars, right? <laughs> because why? I I don't want to run out of cigars, right? And then oh, oh yeah, then I need cigars for the uh, rehearsal dinner the night before, making sure that all the people in the rehearsal dinner got cigars. So the point is, you want to have enough cigars and you want to have variety. Now, one thing I will say is, when you get to the wedding, you want a place to put those cigars. Um, so you got to figure out where to put them and you need a travel humidor. You need one of those wheelie things, but right? you need to have a table. And oh, you need well to that clear, too. 
And you need to clear it with the people who are organizing the wedding a little earlier and right. not and not go to them like minutes before the reception. No, Will, Will, can I, I have a, to no, can hold I put on, some Will. cigars pat right right next to the wedding cake with that yeah, cigar, right? Yeah. No, I, Will, I, I have to ask you, Will, did it ever come up that you would have a cigar roller at the wedding? No. Um and here's why what I, I I did think of it, but what happened is when my when my daughter picked the place, she wanted it at the it was at the Botanical Gardens in Columbia, and wonderful place. And I was like, yeah, you know, whatever you want, right? She comes back to me a few weeks later and says, hey, hey, I, I got some bad news for you. The patio, and this is going to play into a little later on. The patio outside is non-smoking. I'm like. Eh. Well, I got to find a new place, sweetie. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah, there's Just a little ran out of money. <laughs> what oh, happened, my... Daddy? The check bounced. I don't know what happened. Well, so I said, oh, shit, right? Basically, I said, but honestly, I'm not, this is not about me, right? And this is the place she wanted to have the wedding. So I, I was okay with it. But I said, I'm still bringing the cigars, is what I said. Um, the fire. So, all right, yeah. cool. Good. The yeah. rebel without right. calling it off on him. Hack the botanical girl. You know, and like I said, we had cigars at the hotel, the, the rehearsal dinner and things like that. So there, there was, there were going to be cigars at this wedding, no matter what, right? I didn't know how we were going to smoke. I didn't know how this was going to work either. But finding a location, like I said, you have to find this location and plan that out. And then the other thing I would advise doing, and this is, is put a little description of what the cigar is for people. Like a mild, medium, and full, which I did not do. Yeah, yeah. That's it, it's a minute or two. I know it's that, but what happened is I had everyone coming up to me at the wedding doing that. I'm kind of the host, so to speak, father of the bride. But you know, I was happy to talk to people about that. Um, so I would say put those out there. Now, yeah. how did people smoke the cigars? Um, the wedding, <laughs> here's what happened. I want to watch them. There, there, there was an outdoor patio and an outdoor Backwards. bar. Backwards. Yeah, there was an outdoor patio with an outdoor bar and happened to basically go out and talk to the bartender and tip him very well. But I didn't ask him for any privileges with non-smoking. About two and a half hours into the wedding, my oldest son comes up, Dad, Dad. I go, what's going on? There's about 20 people smoking out there. I go, cigars? Yeah. I'm like, oh, shoot. So let me go out there because I don't want anyone getting kicked out of there. I went and talked to the bartender and he's like, I got it under control. Um, and great ending to the story, by the way, which right. is awesome. Right. That's awesome. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, I go back in because again, I, you know, and you know, my wife's like, what are, are they smoking? That? She goes, yeah. She goes, you're going to join them. I said, what do you think? You know, she goes, why don't you go out there? There's a lot of people out there. See, that's why you've been married for so long. Cause you right. asked the question, what do you think, sweetie? Well, again, I, <laughs> I, I have this rep, you know, all week at the hotel, I was out on the patio. All yeah. by myself. Can I go so out I, and play? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, just asked, what do you think? I went back out there and let me tell you, if you want to see the debonair ideal in motion with people enjoying cigars at a wedding and the conversations it stimulated, it was, pr and the best part is, I saw my son-in-law out there with the cigar, and he didn't, he didn't have to be prodded. Nice. He's a keeper. I, he's a keeper. Yeah, now we're people keeper. taking and their shirts off he, and everything. And yeah, yeah. Just yeah. laying and, around. And I'm just telling you, there is, <laughs> you know, for all these people who hate smoking and stuff like right. that. And my mom came out and yelled at me once or twice, right? But, but yeah, I'll that's tell part you, for the course. My mom would come out and yell at me. Yeah. But seeing these people, it was just, and they were all interested. They were, they, they were all really interested in the cigar. And some of them had never had cigars before. They said, this is incredible. Um, some, of them had, some of them had that debonair cigar for the first one, right? Um, which wow. was um, amazing. You know, and they, were, they, they enjoyed it. I didn't, they, you know, obviously, there were a few cigars put out. Um, there were a couple of, uh, there was one guy, though, it was funny, because he, I had, um, I had some of these, I forget what the cigar was, but they had a cedar sleeve on it, right? And I think I had some, uh, I forget if it was um, Hoya de Monterey. So I had some extra cigar. And I, so he's out there, and, and I go to him. I go, have you smoked a cigar before? And he's like, oh, yeah. I go, here, here's a cutter and a lighter. So I give him, he cuts the cigar. He does okay with that. 
And then he proceeds to light the cigar with the cedar sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stony that's Santa that's talks that's about that. Oh, yeah. That happens all the time. <laughs> Why is this going up so fast? <laughs> <laughs> Tastes and like wood. Exactly. There's a real cedar note on this cigar. <laughs> you do know you have to take the cedar sleeve off. <laughs> that was, but that was the highlight of that. So, um, but yeah, it was, um, like I said, I... Uh, I highly encourage if you're ever involved in wedding planning, bring the cigars there. These are just some little tips I wanted to give people that I I learned. I don't have any more daughters to marry, but I have three sons, and so I will. It's gonna be a little tougher because the groom's family getting involved with uh, bridal planning may be tougher. Um, I also just want to give a shout out to my new son-in-law who gave me a box of my father's LE 2015s before oh, the wedding. Nice. Which gracious thing to do. Very nice gracious. Gesture. Very gracious, so uh, and he gave me a nice uh, cutter as well. So you, you know what he's doing with your daughter now, right? I, <laughs> no, nice. you know what's funny? Now, Jeff, you, know you what? have daughters I too, so you can get away with those saying that. Yeah, all the family when Archie Bunker would basically know what Meathead was doing with his daughter. Yep, you have those thoughts come through your head. <laughs> well, it sounds like it was a, a successful wedding on all accounts. So. I know, it was- but to get back to your point, Coop, that's what I do when people come in for a wedding. I ask them how many people are cigar smokers and how many aren't. Yep. And, and you line them up appropriately. And I also tell them, you know, how much time do you have? Because sometimes you don't want to make the cigar like a Churchill or something because you haven't got the time. So, so I had, I had back to again, size Toros. matters. I had Devin do the Toros. In hindsight, I should have had him do Robustos. Mm-hmm. That's, that's about 99% what I sell. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's again. It was my first time I ever went through this. Mm-hmm. For now. For now. <laughs> you got For three now. more sons I, to go. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's that's easy. Is from what I've been told. All I have to worry about is rehearsal dinners now. That's it. Good for you. God bless. Yeah. And and well, yeah, the other thing is. Make sure your sons know how to put tuxedos on. Oh, a- <laughs> well, that's the funniest story I ever heard. Oh, God. <laughs> what Basically, happened? Your son didn't know how to put a tuxedo oh, on? I have, so I have three sons, okay? One's, one is 15, one is 16, and one is 20, okay? And basically, my wife asked me to do one thing before the wedding. She's like, hey, can you help the boys you know, get ready, make sure they're ready for the wedding and take them down to the church because she's dealing with my daughter. I'm like, yeah, sure. So... I get, we're, we're staying in two separate hotel rooms. My oldest son knocks on the door. He's like, dad, he's like, um, we're having a little trouble. I go, what's the trouble? He goes, we haven't ever put a tuxedo on before. I'm like, oh shoot. So I, I go down to their room and it is like a war zone. The tuxedo <laughs> parts are all over the place. Missing cufflinks. Um, <laughs> they can't find shoes, right? Oh, it was like I felt like I was dressing three-year-olds again, like a <laughs> dad or something like this, right? I'm like, so I get that. Did you have I, to hold them down and put the socks and shoes on like uh, I have to do with uh, my two-year-old? Almost. Almost. <laughs> Finding the cufflinks was just a freaking nightmare, right? So, because they made a mess in the room. So, all right, you know, get them ready. I have, I have like 15 minutes to get myself ready. I go run down to my hotel room. I get ready. I go put the, my bow tie on and the class breaks, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, I, uh, go ahead. Lucky I had another bow tie. What about the studs on the oh. shirt? That's a tricky one. Too. Yeah, that is a tricky one. That's that's what one, I was. Yeah. A, I was the best man at my brother's wedding, and and this is what I thought was an age thing. So they're all, you know, you, I'm the one that's supposed to have the rings. I forgot to bring the rings. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> does not surprise me in the <laughs> least. <Thank God>. Oh, <laughs> he was so pissed. I th- and here I am. I told the priest. He's like, give me that. Calm the f- I almost said calm the fuck down, <laughs> right? But I caught myself. Luckily, he's only you know the rings were like 10, 15 minutes. Behind. People in the back are laughing their ass <laughs> off. I'm running, I'm running to my brother's house to get the rings. He was laughing as I was. I was a quite. Well, the that's hit. something you can do with the bands, though. You know, roll them up. They're gold. Yeah. A lot of times. <laughs> oh, Nobody oh, yeah. can tell at a distance. Uh, not my brother. Oh me. yeah, I, I would think I was more nervous than him. <laughs> It's not limited to just losing cell phones and cigars. No. And, and cutters and lighters and, lighters and keys. And and phones and <laughs> everything else. All righty. With that, we're going to take a short yeah. break. Come back and talk about our stogies for this week. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 